Ellen van Dijk, the defending champion, about to get going. The date with destiny. Ellen van Dijk rolls down the start ramp, the last rider to go. 35 years of age, holder now of the hour record. Twice a world champion of the individual time trial, looking for a hat trick. Second in the European Championships to Marlon Royser. They may not have counted on Grace Brown being able to go quite so fast around this course. It's Grace Brown fastest ahead of Vittoria Guazzini and Georgia Baker. This is Alan van Dijk, winner of the Tour of Flanders also. Real power, you can always hear the speed that she's carrying on that bike, the noise off that rear disc wheel. Second intermediate split, Grace Brown leads ahead of Kristen Faulkner and Annemiek van Vleuten and at the finish line, it's Grace Brown ahead of Kristen Faulkner and Annemiek van Vleuten. Ellen van Dijk leans into that right-hand turn. Well, this is the only rider that I think we could see um, contest that time of Grace Brown, so we'll be watching Ellen van Dijk very closely. Marlon Royster and Alan Van Dyke, the two riders out on the course that we said could threaten to come. Whoa, look at this, this looks fast too. Can Alan Van Dyke better the time of Rusa at the intermediate, first intermediate check? This is the defending champion on this climb. How far is it to that intermediate split? There it is, not too far away. Alan Van Dyke is finding speed on this course that potentially no one else has found. Here is Van Dyke. Well, if she has set this sort of standard in that opening phase of the time trial, this is going to be a very impressive performance. Ellen van Dijk almost at the time split. The time of Marlon Royster, 10 minutes 4.41. How far away is she? She's coming to the split now, and she's the only rider under 10 minutes. 9.55.52, and suddenly the tables are turning on Grace Brown. Oh, absolutely. If Ellen van Dijk, she's eight seconds up on that first time check, if she can carry that pace through, it's a long way to the finish just yet, but uh, you have to be on par with Grace Brown to be in contention of beating her time. She had such a superb ride from start to finish, but Ellen van Dijk, she is really on her game today. She knew she had to go out fast and attack it, and she's a rider that can, can take it all the way to the finish as well. She's, certainly, if you look here now, you get the comparison of position. She certainly looks more aerodynamic than Alan van Dyke. And the position of Russo really reminds me of the position of Brady O'Donnell when she broke that one-hour record, dead flat across the back, very aerodynamic. And uh, that's what we're seeing from Russo, perhaps um, with a more limited road racing program this year. She's just put a lot more effort into the time trial and the position certainly does look more aerodynamic than Alan Van Dijk on the bike. The thinking now in terms of the aerodynamics, it used to be to try and be a low frontal area as possible. Now it's about getting that back flat, isn't it? So that actual hand positions have moved upwards to give the riders that ability to get the back as flat as they possibly can. Yeah, you can see Alan Van Dijk. Every time she lifts her head and puts her head down, pushing a little bit more wind, takes such a special rider to be a time trial specialist because we talk about all this equipment and the study of the position and the power outputs and let's just remind you then if you've just joined us thanks for joining us this is the women's world championship time trial two titles to be awarded today the elite time trial and the under 23 time trial as well that is the first time we've ever presented an under 23 world title the first intermediate split, the fastest rider is this rider here, Alan Van Dijk, 9 minutes 55.52. At the second split, and Van Dijk hasn't reached there yet, Grace Brown of Australia, 32, 51.70. And at the finish line, the riders in the hot seats are Grace Brown, 44 minutes 41.33. Kristen Faulkner, 1 minute 12 down. Annemiek van Vleuten, 1 minute 30 down. Intermediate split point as Van Dyke closes in on that uh, particular point too. No intermediate split at this finish line. 
Van Dijk also finding real speed, a mammoth size chain ring on the front of that bike. Tracking along here at well over 60 kilometers an hour. Yeah, she's absolutely flying, Ellen Van Dyke. Van Dyke turning away now towards the conclusion of this first lap to go out. Only one lap of racing remaining. She needs to keep compact, she needs to keep focus, she needs to keep as aero as possible because Marlon Royster is going to push her all the way and we still have that time of the Australian Grace Brown in the hot seat. Well, in that first time split, she had eight seconds over Marlon Royster. So it'll be very interesting to see when they get to the second time split. The difference between these two riders and Grace Brown will be sitting in that hot seat knowing that a medal is possible. Perhaps gold is a little bit out of reach if Van Dyke can hold on to her speed and form, and she's very experienced, so you wouldn't expect. This is the arrival of Ellen Van Dyke, who's still looking strong, still holding position, hoping to go through with a time faster than Grace Brown. It looks like it's going to be possible. Brown's time, 32 minutes, 51.70. Has the Australian cracked all the other riders? The answer is no. Ellen van Dijk goes through, 22 seconds faster. Well, she's had to work very hard, but Ellen van Dijk looks like she could take back-to-back -back world titles. Looking when we look, very good for Ellen van Dijk. When we look at the profile of the course on the run-in, if you contrast Grace Brown and Ellen Van Dyke, it starts to turn to the favour of Ellen Van Dyke, doesn't it? It does, definitely. The only thing we need to take into consideration is that she's been forced to go out extremely hard um, by the time of Grace Brown. However, she's so experienced that no matter how much it hurts, I think she's done the training and she's got the experience in years and years of road racing seasons to be able to take it to the finish line. These are the two riders competing now. One on the right-hand side looking to just put herself onto the podium. The one on the left-hand side looking to win the back-to-back -back world titles. It would be a hat-trick. Ellen Van Dyke was the winner last year, the bronze medalist the year before. At the moment, everything is going right for the hour record holder. Van Dyke looking to put herself into the rainbow bands again. What a season that would finish. So Ellen Van Dyke just coming through the Italian corner there. Not making any mistakes. Australia have never won this women's title as Ellen Van Dyke rails it round that corner, not too close to the barriers, not as close as Marlon Royster was. She's got 6.4 kilometres of effort now. Yeah, she'll be no stranger to this kind of uh, road now with the straight, consistent power outputs to the finish line. Um, Van Dyke from the Netherlands is leading the women's time trial with 6.2 kilometers to go. Virtual leader out on the road with a massive advantage over Grace Brown. If Ellen Van Dyke takes this title, it would put her as the second most successful woman time trialist of all time, behind Jenny Longo, who won four titles. This would give Ellen Van Dyke three. She's on par with Karen Turek, Judith Arndt, Leontine Van Morsel, Kristen Armstrong, and Annemiek Van Bloyten and Amber Naben right now. If she wins this, she would be second on that table. It would be an historic moment for Ellen Van Dyke. It ends a season in which she has accomplished so much. In the women's time trial. Looks like she is absolutely cruising. The ability to pedal at this rate and produce so much power belies the effort that she's putting in right now. Grace Brown is still in the hot seat as she watches these riders come into the finish. Alan Van Dyke chasing that gold. Brown has set the standard all the way through the day. She started the day at 10 o'clock in the morning. 10 0 30 was when Grace Brown went off. We're now at almost 12.30 in the afternoon. 
and Grace Brown has been in that hot seat since she concluded her time trial. There's maybe only one rider who's going to unseat her, and it's this rider in orange. Grace Brown is looking to give Australia a first medal on the first day of competition in Wollongong. That would be a wonderful start for the home nation. Yeah, absolutely. It's just an incredible result for Grace Brown. The ride that she did out there this morning was just perfection. I think she's going to win the under-23 title, though. No one else is going to do that. I think the fight for the bronze medal will be between Royce and Guazzini. Hoping uh, positively for Grace Brown to hold on to that silver medal for Australia here at a home world championships. And look at Ellen Van Dyke. I don't think she is slowing down. She's definitely not slowing down. The time to beat is 44 minutes 41. The arrival of Ellen Van Dyke. She closes in now on the finish line. The rider in the Dutch colours sprinting for all she is worth. Ellen van Dyke, the time of Grace Brown. 44 minutes, 41 points, 3-3. Van Dyke takes the title by 12.73 seconds. And it was very close. Van Dyke lost 10 seconds in the running to Grace Brown. What an absolutely phenomenal ride by both Van Dyke and Grace Brown. But as you said, she lost 10 seconds in the run into Grace Brown. That was pretty close. Ellen Van Dyke had to sprint for all she was worth. At the second intermediate split, she had 22 seconds in hand. At the finish, it was only 12. Ellen Van Dyke, back-to-back -back victories in the World Time Trial Championship. She gives the Netherlands its eighth world title in the history of this event. The top three, Ellen van Dyke of the Netherlands, Grace Brown of Australia, Marlon Reusser of Switzerland, and the under-23 title goes to the Italian Vittoria Guazzini. She had to fight. She, she had to fight very hard for that world championship. In the end, she won by a, a 12 seconds, which is quite a big distance, but... She really had to ride on a limit right from the start. That was close, you know, considering we thought it was pretty much over 22 seconds with at the top of the last climb. And you would say that the terrain was all Ellen van Dyke's from there on in. Grace Brown takes 10 seconds out of her. Yeah, it is pretty phenomenal. If the race was another five kilometers, we may have seen uh, Grace Brown take the world championship.